Welcome to Casa Karen's. Today, Mommy. we do countertops. Hello, I'm I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna do it. So, here we go. So, this is what I'm gonna be using. It's called Glaze Coat. My countertops are ugly. I'll take video and I'll show them to you. I'm just gonna paint them white. It's gonna be all white. Who cares, right? But because I want it to last, I'm gonna put an epoxy resin over it. I've only done epoxy resin once, and that's when I did my table. You should totally watch that video. I'm very proud of my table. But I'm gonna do this on my countertops. Am I nervous? Of course I am. Do I have to pee? Of course I do. Because y'all know when I get nervous, I gotta pee, right? But we're just gonna do it. Who cares? We have nothing to lose, okay? So this is what I'm using. Um, I have some other supplies. Got some mixing cups. I got four of them. Got some drop cloth because um, I want to protect my floors and my cabinets because epoxy pulls down and self levels and drips. So we gotta protect everything else. Also got some silicone um, just to make sure that the cracks and the seams are sealed. <laughs> and I got some extra um, primer. This is the primer that I've been using and I like it. So I got a little bit more for my countertop. So let's just do it.
so everything has two coats of primer. That's done. Uh, this is done behind me. Two coats of primer. And it's squeeze. Two coats of primer. So we're gonna wait. Primer stinks, y'all. We're gonna wait an hour. It's about 2.20 in the afternoon. I'll wait until about 3.30 and then I'll start painting. And then um, tonight, hopefully, we'll start the epoxy. Hey guys! Look at the mess. Look at the mess these kids have left in my living room. That is what it is. taped because just let it be known I don't like the white let it be known um, I would like the white if it matched the cabinets but you can see it's like a completely different white because that's the white from my baseboards and my trims and then this was a chalk paint that I used so I just feel like the whites are so different that I don't like it so I got some black. I don't even know if I should do the black. I don't know guys. Oh my god. I'm like freaking out. I'm like freaking out. Like what do I do? I'm not freaking out. <laughs> but I don't know. Does the white look that off to you? It looks super off to me. So I got the I got two cans of black. One is a chalk paint and one is like a regular, I guess an acrylic, I don't even know. <sighs> Thought this was gonna be a little bit easier, but it's the whites, man. They're two different kind of whites. I mean, I see it, I see it a lot, like, Like, that's too different to me. So I'm thinking if I do black, there'll be more of a contrast. What do you think? Comment below. Even though after you comment, the video's gonna be done already and I'm, I'm gonna make a decision before you comment because it's not like it's alive. So... <sighs> decisions hi <laughs> hi thanks for vlogging can you let me if you let me know leave in the comments below i'm gonna go clean up that living room girl right now we're going black
little weird about the black, but at this point, mama has to commit because we're not going to sand this down and start all over again. No, sir. No, ma'am. We're not doing that. Okay. So we're going to trust our gut and come into the black. I really wanted the all white kitchen because I, don't know, I just all white just feels so big and airy and clean and I mean you see how tight my kitchen is so I want it all white but we're not getting it so we're gonna have to make do with what we have and and it is what it is okay it's eight o'clock at night by the way um I started this at about 10 30 this morning and I figured Oh, it's not going to be long. It's just going to be two coats of primer, two coats of paint, and then maybe epoxy at night, maybe epoxy the next day. Who knows? But I thought that I would be in bed by now. No. Alright y'all, so we committed to it and countertops are black now. Um, not bad. I like it. But I do feel that it does pull down my kitchen in terms of like darkness. And it's a small kitchen. I mean, look how tiny. Right? It's, it's really, really small. So... It is what it is. We committed to it. We're not taking it off. <clears throat> I don't get a lot of light through this window. Um, so it does. the kitchen isn't that bright. I guess that's what I'm just trying to say. It's late, guys. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. But we're committing to it. Um, we're going to let this dry overnight. Where am I going? Where am I going? And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing the epoxy. It would be so cool if the counter could remain this matte black, cause I love that muted black, I really do. But I know once I put the epoxy, it's gonna be high gloss, and I could sand the epoxy down to like a satin finish, but that's too much work. <laughs> no, too much work. Um, I do have some some fears and issues with the high gloss. The high gloss looks fine on my dining room table. I'm okay with it. Not a big deal. Wood grain underneath. My only issue is that when I do the high gloss and I keep the high gloss here, um, you're going to see smudges, right? Whenever your fingers touch it. And I'm a little OCD with that. So I'm going to have to have some Windex on hand like all the time because that is going to be an issue. Every time the kids put their hands on the counter or me or my husband or whoever's visiting and cooking, um, it's going to leave marks. So it is what it is. All right, guys. So it is the next day. I did some touch-ups on the counter. Um, we got some little specks here. Such a pain in the butt. Okay, so it is epoxy time. I have already um, protected my cabinets with some drop cloth, taped everything up. I'm hoping and praying I don't make any mistakes. And now comes the fun part. I'm gonna try my best to. Hi. Um, hi, David and Logan. If you want me to go, leave me in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. <laughs> she told you what to do. All right, so um, I'm going to try my best to document this, but you can already see I had to move my fridge. So it's really, really tight in this kitchen. I had to move my stove over. So we're going to try to fit that tripod somewhere in here. Let's just get it done. <music>
couldn't videotape it, but um, I put it down. I am like nervous beyond nervous. Uh, I mean, there's so many areas that have like those little like ripples. I'm hoping it goes away. Like, see that area is nice and clean and even, but the edges just look weird. Ugh. This thing is self-leveling, so we'll see. I don't know. You can see the little ripples a lot on this one. Not happy. But just nervous. All right, so I guess guess we just have to wait. All right, it is day three in the process. Okay, so, um, what did I do well? I mixed it well, y'all. I really did, because it's hard. It is, real hard. What did I do wrong? I over squeegeed it, and I did not allow it to settle correctly. So you see how this is like smooth? It should have come out like this. But I was squeegeeing and squeegeeing and squeegeeing that I just took it off. So, what I have to do now is sand it and do it again. So that's how it came out, terrible. But we're gonna try and fix it. We're gonna try. Look at that, look at that mess. All right, I just <coughs> sanded everything down. Now I'm gonna have to wipe it down, get all that sanding dust off we will mix and reapply i need to sand this a little bit more let's do that right now let's do that right now while you're on camera look at this mess guys this is a serious mess mommy yes Kennedy. no 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 put that back i need those I no nope, i need it I put it back no, thank you. All right, let's sand a little bit. I'm just trying to scuff it up a little bit. We're not trying to take it off.
have it guys. I finished my counters. I finished my kitchen. Well, not fully finished because as you saw in some parts of the video, there are still some little areas that I need to fix. For instance, I ran out of this sticky tile here. Oop, let's turn on the light. I ran out of the sticky tile, so I have to order more just so that I can do that border along the top. But yeah, these are sticky tiles that I got from Amazon and they were very easy to put up. Um, they stick well, but I'm noticing that on the corners, I don't know if you can see in this corner, let me flip the camera. On the corners, they tend to lift up a little bit. So I have to go in there and add like an extra adhesive. But you can see that's where I ran out and I've got to add more. So that was pretty cool. Hi. Thank you for saying hi to the viewers. And then you notice that I put some lights underneath my cabinets. These again were from Amazon. So I can control them with this remote control. All right, turn them off. If I want them on and I want to dim them at 50%, I can just keep hitting the button. Um, they are dimmable. Boom. Boom, okay, turn them off. I have, I think, eight lights here, and this can control up to 12. So I just point it at the light that I want to turn on. It turns on. I can dim it. I can bring it back. These are battery powered. Um, so that, that's a little bit of a pain in the butt because when the battery runs out, you got to switch them up. But I, I wasn't trying to get like something that was hardwired because I just didn't want to deal with anything that was hardwired. In terms of the counter, um, this was my, it was my first time doing a countertop, guys. And there are a lot of mistakes. You could see all these dips. Like this took me like three pours and still it was uneven. I was nervous. Um, there are areas where I just didn't have enough epoxy that didn't run over the vertical parts were a little tough to do because the epoxy uh, does run down right uh, you also notice you could see some of the scratch marks from when I initially poured it and then sanded it and then re poured right and then another issue is because it is a high gloss I didn't sand it down if I put my fingerprints you'll see it but it doesn't really bother me the other thing that I have to finish are the drips so yeah, because, I still have the drip marks yeah because okay. because some of them mm -hmm. are really sharp yeah so I've got some drip marks right there from the epoxy I've got a lot of drip marks on that one and that's just taken care of with a sander and view, so and, and viewers on um, one of these drips are really sharp so yes. i'm just gonna have to cut them off yeah so don't touch them so all in all am i happy with my kitchen i am i'm happy with my little tiny kitchen uh this was supposed to be a temporary fix if i do plan on like really upgrading the kitchen then that means i'm gonna be like gutting it and we don't have the finances to gut the kitchen right now so i'm happy with this i really am you see that light? You see that light? You see it? And my bread box. So, um, tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts are. Would you do something like this in your house? Would you do your own countertops? Uh, do you think that black was a good choice? I was going to do white countertops, but the white just didn't match with the white of the cabinet, and I just my OCD just didn't allow me, so I went black. But. Let me know what you think. This is going to be next. So stay tuned because I've got to uh, do this sink basin. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment below. Tell me what you thought about this whole project that I did in my house. Hit that notification bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you next week on Casa Karen's. Bye.